I was ministering in the church, in a vision I saw a giant gold cup on the ceiling. I asked the Lord Jesus what this means. He answered me, This giant cup contains my oil, which I will pour the holy oil upon my people, they believed in my preaching, now I will work in their lives. When Jesus spoke these words, the giant cup began to pour over all those people. They received their portions and were renewed at the same time. Minutes later, that cup disappeared, rains descended in the church, descended from God, tongues spread like fire within the church, that rain kept falling, then I heard a strong wind coming into the church and igniting those flames that burned the church, the fire was uncontrollable, the people prophesied and spoke in tongues, my name is Adria, I am from the city of Puebla. Before Pastor Kenzo came to my church, I was praying and God revealed to me saying, I will send my angel to your church, I said, Lord, who is your angel that you will send to my church? Jesus said, stay tuned and you will see, a few months later, a voice told me, he arrived and went to visit his church, a worker from my church came to me and got a call from a missionary named Kenzo, the worker said, Pastor Adria, I can arrange for him to minister, I said, I do not know him. He may be a false prophet, I will pray, if the Holy Spirit approve, you can schedule for him to minister. The night I bent my knee and asked revelation about this man, with eyes closed I saw a Japanese, his robes were so white, so white, it seemed that he was not of this world, his appearance was of an angel without the wings, his appearance was of a man from the sky an envoy of God, as I prayed for a sign to God, he revealed to me that this missionary is an envoy of God, his white garments mean holiness, a worker separated from the world, a man who belongs to heaven, and is here on earth to fulfill the mission given by God, he was born in this world for this purpose, to take the gospel and to suffer for the souls, this man was passing through the land, his life is getting short. The day that man went to minister in my church, the Holy Spirit told me, my angel arrived, minutes later, this man entered through the church door, I saw his face shine, and his body had a light that made his garment shine, he was full of anointing and authority that night, at the time of ministering I invited him, listen to what he said, I'm Pastor Kenzo, I was ministering in Pastor Adria's church. I realized that the people of that ministry walk in holiness, the pastor said, that there are few remnants left, most of the workers left that church and Jesus told me the reason they made them change, I had a vision, Jesus showed me in a vision, the brothers leaving the church of Pastor Adria, and going to liberal churches, exchanging the truth for the lie, Jesus said, they are changing the narrow path to living on the wide road that leads to hell. Many were leaving Pastor Adria to congregate in these churches, Jesus showed me in the vision homosexuals, lesbians, cohabiting couples and fornicators, all these were members of the church, where the pastor assembles and only speaks of the love of God, welcomes all the rejected people of other churches, that pastor did not rebuke the sin, this pastor was wrong, letting the people of his church live in sin, doing everything they want, and many brethren were leaving a serious truthful church, trading for a spiritually defeated church, this pastor said that nothing is a sin and that salvation by grace gave them every right to live as they wish, and all who were in the church of Pastor Adria feeding on Jesus were now in the liberal churches believing the lies of the devil, a holy people who hated sin now have changed churches to live in sin, and have hated holiness, they began to persecute the church of Pastor Adria, calling it a religious church saying that people live by rules obeying laws, they tried to corrupt Pastor Adria, wanting to turn him into a mercenary, the pastor did not accept this proposal, causing them to leave the church to open their own ministries to make money, I also saw people coming out of Pastor Adria's church to open their own churches to make money, these pastors and elders who helped Pastor Adria failed to contain their ambitions and opened their churches, leaving the pastor alone. Only those who obey the holy doctrine have stayed, and are the ones that God will use. After these visions, I reported the pastor's church, and soon I saw angels going up and down in that place. I was amazed. I spoke about the visions I was having in that place. 
Concerning the work of the angels, the people glorified God, I prayed to the Lord saying, Lord Jesus, I ask you to open the eyes of this people only for this night so that they may see their angels, when I said this. The church was euphoric, everyone there was watching the angels, I heard jubilation, joy, and singing, the people fell on their knees and prayed to God for wonders, they thanked God, I say to you who hear me, if you could contemplate this wonder that God showed for the church of Pastor Adria, you would be astonished, it does not matter if you do not see the angels, just believe that they are in your churches working for you, if they believed, they felt joy in the same way and by the eyes of faith. They saw these wonders, I pass problems like any other person, when emptiness comes, despair, I bend my knee and it all goes away, and when the troubles return, they go away, I live a life of prayer and the Holy Spirit visits me and comforts my heart, he comes every day to comfort me when I pray, from the day I drank from that crystalline water of heaven, my spiritual life has changed, I do not feel a thirst for God anymore. I am always satiated with his spirit that is in me, God's peace and joy reigns in my being, his anointing flows through my body, through my bloodstream, sprouting from the inside out, I am a vessel overflowing with anointing, people like to stay close to me because they feel the presence of God in my life, when I pray for a person the Holy Spirit that is in me visits him, I do not want glory for this, but I want to tell everyone that it is not easy to conquer this authority. It took twenty years of prayer, sanctification, and vigilance, I went through several processes to get where I arrived, I was tested by God, I was tried, my ministry went through the fire and resisted, the demons attacked me, churches persecuted me and my friends left me, I never let my faith cool, I kept the fire of the Holy Spirit in my life, I took care of it not to fade, and that flame burns in my heart when I pray. I never stopped praying despite the silence of God, I knew that he listens to me, I gave up everything for Jesus, I sacrificed my life to live in holiness, I sought to please God, walking upright and in his truth, practicing sound doctrine, the result of all this was what I conquered today in the spirit world, I could be famous in the world for preaching the gospel, but I rejected all the glory of man, I prefer the recognition of God. I feel my soul and my spirit overflowing with heavenly oil when I go to minister in the churches, people are impacted and cannot contain themselves, every time I go to minister, people are struck by the flames of fire of the Holy Spirit, church if you feel what I'm feeling, you will never feel this pleasure or have sex with your spouses, the bridegroom Jesus can produce such a wonderful spiritual sensation in the bride who is the church, Jesus showed me in one vision many people giving up serving Jesus because of the faults of the denominations, they gave up because of the brothers mistakes, Jesus said, these people were not built in me, they were built up in man and denominations, snares I had another vision, I saw Satan inventing innovations in the world to be worshipped, I saw a great trap ready to capture the greatest number of souls to hell, the goal is to drag humanity to destruction, Satan and his demons play dirty, the devils study the weaknesses of every Christian on earth to get them out of the way of salvation, Jesus spoke to me with words of concern saying, tell my people, do not let the flesh speak louder, tell them to drink my water when you feel thirsty, I will kill your desires and cravings, I will take away your voids and fill you with my spirit, the world cannot fill your voids, tell them to seek my baptism with fire to burn their sinful flesh killing all the desires of the pleasures of the world, what stain on the inside is a sin, that drives away the Holy Spirit, when Jesus spoke to me these words he said, feel what I feel, my face was transfigured with concern and tears began to fall from my eyes, I could see the love and desire of Jesus for the souls, it is not his wish that souls get lost, he wishes to save the bride, and warn as much as possible not to lose more Christian souls, false prophets Jesus told me to tell the people not to run after prophets, they will find many false prophets, my prophets are few, all those who seek my presence will make them prophets, I do not want my people behind signs, but I will cause my signs to follow them wherever they go, I will turn their dried fountains into spring waters that will flow into their voids, filling them with my anointing, virtue, and grace, 
Their lives will bear fruit if they walk in my presence as Enoch walked, to go every day to the church is not enough, it is necessary that they live in prayer in their homes, and give good testimony of life in their company where they work and in the street where they live Satan's strategies against churches I was praying, my spirit was in the gathering of demons in a secret place, in a vision I saw Satan in a meeting with his demons, he said, names of so many denominations invented by men, there are still people who want to compromise with their God, in a group of fifty members, there are always three people who have not doubled to sin, let us stir the minds of many believers, and to put nothing that is a sin, grace gives them the right to be saved, let's spread discord, division, accusations, and make churches war by making them feel better than others, they have engaged in futile debates, and have forgotten their salvation, while souls are dying they will be with their tongues engaged in discussions, let them look at the shortcomings and sins of other people's lives and make them forget theirs and not analyze their own lives, let them engage in what will condemn their souls in hell, let us turn aside their attention from the work of God, and not let them speak of doctrine, let us change the direction of the gospel, prevent them from preaching the truth to the lost, and use our pastors to take the true Christians out of their churches and bring them into their own, let us exalt our shepherds, taking them to the four corners of the world, their names will be known worldwide, churches will beg for them and I will come with our authorities, let's put fear in the true Christians so they do not preach to dealers, thieves, murderers, addicts, and prostitutes. Let's put so much fear in them that they will turn away from these sinners, and through these little things, we will accomplish our work in their lives, we have a great project to install in this world in the 21st century, we are going to promote scandals using Christians, causing people to turn away from God through scandals, the people because of these things will no longer believe in Christians, nor in those who speak the truth and refuse the truth through the acts of each one that scandalizes the gospel, the people will no longer enter the churches, and will no longer believe in the word of God, we will smear all denominations of the world, using the ambitious leaders, we are going to put the denominations at war, making them forget about us dealing with it, let the shepherds quarrel with souls for the sake of tithing, putting on their heads that their churches will close if they have not enough people. We are going to use Christians to take people out of serious churches and bring them into theirs by putting the spirit of confusion into believing that salvation is in the denominations not in their God, all the denominations war between them, speak evil of the others but forget that their wars are against us, this conflict will not stop souls from going to hell, Jesus told me, people are clinging to names of denominations, not my word they are spiritually feeble and have become easy prey for the devil, Satan plays his devices and many do not overcome because they are not built up in my word, I said, Lord, denominations do not save, but there are many false churches, who do not preach your word, many are deceived in these churches, Jesus told me, I do not want my people in these churches, but you have not understood the vision. Satan is putting in the minds of the people that it is the names of their denominations that save, removing my name as Saviour and implanting the ecclesiolatry, Satan takes my name out of salvation and replaces my name with the name of churches, it is I who saved, not any church or denomination, any church that is my truth will save souls, the denomination is not my word, denominations that speak to my truth assists people in the way of truth. There are churches that are stumbling blocks of deceit and lead people to the path of hell, word those who study my word will have discernment of their false doctrines, and have come out of these corrupt churches, not agreeing with their lies, because my word will enlighten and illumine, thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path, Sham 119, 105, after Jesus had told me these things, I had a vision. I saw a black hand coming down with a loaf of bread and inside it had a yellow portion, and many ate of that bread and rejoiced. Immediately after this sight, I saw a school of fish devouring a plant on the seabed. Minutes later those fishes died and floated in the water. I asked Jesus what that means. He replied, The bread you saw is my word, the yellow portion is the contamination of my holy word. The black hand you saw is the hand of Satan who sullied my pure doctrine. 
The yellow color of the portion means death, the fish that you saw in schools running to devour the plant, are the souls that go behind the false prophets hungry for my word, the death you saw of fish eating the plant is their spiritual deaths, and the poisonous plant means the false gospel that does not save but persuades people to cling to the things of this world like material and money, this gospel is poisonous plants that are useless, are evil seeds of the deception of Satan who was introduced into the hearts of many people do not bear good fruit, this gospel is attractive and seductive, it seeks the well-being of everything, it is not the gospel of the cross and the renunciation that my disciples lived, this gospel is unsuccessful in the spirit world, it is the modern gospel of Satan who entered my church and left many sick spiritually, Satan cast his evil seed into the hearts of many, causing them to enter into conflict with my word, people with afflicted and oppressed hearts are their targets, Satan has cast his net, and all who do not watch in prayer, have fallen into the web of deceit, he has implanted the weeds within my church, which is the gospel strange to my truth, to confound the people, their varieties of doctrines have entered the church along with the spirit of confusion controlling minds that have no holy spirit, there is only one truth that is my word the rest are quick scents that bind souls, sink and lead to hell, my soldiers stand still, they will not take my word, while the army of false prophets is spreading their lies and conquering souls, gaining space in the cities, children television I went to pray, and my spirit went until the meeting of Satan and his demons, they talked about the children, Satan said, children are the future of tomorrow, we must contaminate their hearts and minds, through the movies, toys and TV shows, if we corrupt children and adolescents, in the future there will be no church, they will only be religious temples of people who do not live the gospel, the customs of the children of believers who grow up hearing the word and walk in the church will be corrupted, there will be denominations, but the holy people will be over, their parents see innocence in a childish desire, but they do not know what is hidden in the drawings and the movies and the spiritual force acting behind all of these are seeds planted in their hearts, this generation is being programmed through television and secular music, Satan saw my spirit and said, you can do nothing to stop me, my spirit returned to my body, Jesus told me, my servant, all of the bad things that my people see pollutes the eyes, and if the eyes are contaminated the whole body will be also, and the ears that listen to music of the world contaminates the mind and the heart, in another vision. I saw the spirit of lesbianism, homosexual and transsexuals possessing children who watch television. These demons entered their bodies, from the eyes, getting inside their minds. Gospel musicians I had another vision, I saw Satan and his demons inside a recording studio. At this meeting, they planned to contaminate more praises with vengeance, discord, war, exaltation, and ostentation in gospel songs. I saw how the lyrics directed the praises to their effects, their conquests, the proud and the egos of men, they were deliberately forgetting to praise him who gave his life for them, at the meeting, Satan said, let's make evangelical singers become celebrities and thus win their souls, they will sell the word of God with their concerts, they do not sing praises to God out of gratitude, but for money, their names are already in hell. My spirit returned to the body word church, whether soldiers prepared for war against Satan, be protected with the armor of the heavens against the armies of darkness, each verse of the Bible is a powerful weapon against your enemy, if you put on the word, the greater the application of the word the more weapons you will have, the more prayer you have, the more clad in God's power you will be, the word of God will give you strategies to attack Satan and defend yourself from him be a person grounded in the rock that is Jesus, be indoctrinated by his word and be built up and sanctified in faith, all this will give you strength to defeat the legions and the trials, you are small and have a great God to win your fights, the spiritual armament of God will be given to those who seek it, in the spiritual world, we are all equal before God, the same ability and armor that I received are equally available to all who hears me in the spiritual world. God is no respecter of persons, who determines the spiritual portion is you, it depends on the measure and willingness to give your time for prayer, spiritual warfare there is a spiritual war being fought at that time, 
I saw with spiritual eyes that the church is part of this war, you were not called just to go all the days in the church and live for just for your family and your personal interests. The church was separated for war, learn to fight and win your day-to-day -day struggles, Jesus told me that most Christians do not know how to fight, and others have great armaments but do not know how to use against Satan and his demons, Lord Jesus told me that the church is more concerned to grow in material life, forgetting the spiritual. The church is not marching into the end time war, Jesus said, tell the church to learn to advance in the spiritual world, I am with them, if the church does not advance, the demons will gain more territory. The church will be stopped, lose the action, or with great paralysis and will not go forward. Jesus has told me that materialism has reduced faith, and the modern doctrines of the churches are not nullifying sin, nor fighting divisions among the people, and the demons have worked 24 hours with their strategies of cooling of the faith, inducing Christians to the pleasures, encouraging the church to break the alliance affirmed with Jesus. The demonic legions have set up these war planes to destroy the church, Jesus told me, the people have to unite, remain in me, and live my words so they do not lose the war for the devil. The church has to gather under a single war cry, no matter the denomination, Jesus said that he feels pleasure from those who are in his presence. They will overcome Satan, pass the tests and have their strength renewed, those who are worn out by war will have their lives restored and will resist sin. Satan has affected minds with harsh trials, causing an emotional crisis, I will restore their wounded souls when you search for me, tell the church that Satan is keeping an eye on the crown of the saved to steal, causing many to stray from my path, the Lord showed me in a vision dry pots, he revealed to me the situation of these vessels, which stopped praying and seeking God at dawn, these vessels need sprouts and be filled with the presence of God. I had another vision I saw Satan with the demons laughing at a whole congregation, Satan said to the demons, these people do not frighten me, then I saw a giant foot crushing the church, Jesus told me, this church is under the foot of Satan and dominated by demons, in the vision I saw Satan saying, these dead soldiers do not have the strength to bother us, they cannot fight against us, they are ours waiting for their souls in hell, we will not worry about them. There are more important things to conquer, Jesus told me, these people died in their sins, they accepted the lie of Satan, their disobedience arrived on a level, they cannot discern what is good and what is evil, for they are nothing in sin, they are blind in their iniquities, tell my church, do not give up the source of wealth that is my grace, those who leave it will be defeated by Satan, but those who remain in it will conquer and no matter how much Satan tries to stop those who are under grace, success will come their way, tell my people not to cling to denominational plaques, and not to speak ill of other Christians from different churches, many use the plates to promote scandals of denominations, and others speak of faults and defects of other Christians, exposing their images, making their sins revealed to the world to see, accusing instead of bringing their brother who has lost my light, I justify the sin of those who repent and defend the accusers, all denominations are imperfect on this earth, I am the perfection that I release and purify, I did not create church names, but I built a holy people for myself, whoever clings to the names of denominations will not rise in the rapture, I am the way, I save and Satan is deceiving many, turning into idolaters of denominational plaques. My blood has the power to redeem the repentant sinner who left the world to live for me, my blood did not purify any sign of denominations, nor did I pour out my spirit in the temple of stone, strife Jesus showed me in a vision, two Christians arguing about doctrinal matters, they fought over the gospel, bringing hatred and anger among their ministries, Jesus speaking these words to me was very angry with the wars of various churches, Jesus showed me in a vision demons inside a church full of people, I saw a chessboard with pieces, Jesus told me, Satan is playing with this church, these people fell into the game of deception for not taking my gospel seriously, they who play with me, Satan plays with them, the demons laughed and played with the people, the demons did not take those types of Christians seriously, and they set up deception traps to confuse, leaving everyone confused spiritually. 
false shepherds after those visions, it was nightfall, I went to church, and when I entered there I had a vision, this congregation was chained, I knelt by my bench, I asked Jesus, how can this whole church be like this, Jesus has revealed to me, that sin begins from the shepherd to the members, this leader leaves the sheep at will, the Holy Spirit has moved away because they do not live a holy life, the demons have chained these persons, Satan the God of this century has blinded many to the truth, they do not consider their vanities and sensualities as sin, these pastors have spiritual scales in their eyes and do not see sin within their congregations, and the demons have entered into these churches, which do not fight sin, their shepherds have settled for iniquity, the churches are fallen and their leaders as well, they are the same as the old soul who knew the Mosaic laws, taught by a doctor of the law, but blinded in my mysteries, my servant this church where you are, died spiritually, sin killed their spiritual lives, they are like the dry valley of Ezekiel, they need to repent and revive for me, do a seven day fast for tomorrow and intercede for this people, there is no harvest of souls here, these fruits are not ripe, if I came today no one from the church would rise, when I returned home I prayed and fasted for the people, during my prayer, I had a vision that the chains of every life were broken, I looked up from the ceiling, I saw a very long burning fiery furnace that walked towards the pulpit of that church, that furnace poured the liquid fire over that people, I asked, Lord, what does this mean? He answered me, this is not a revival, I am purifying these people with the fire of heaven, I will burn their sins and then raise this church, that night I went to this church and spoke of this revelation, the pastor of this ministry is called Juan, he repented and told the church to make a cry of repentance and forgiveness of sins, they did fifteen days of prayer in the church, Jesus said, servant, I give you autonomy today to decide on the process of spiritual restoration of that church, what you speak, I will sign in my book and it will happen, after Jesus gave me authority, I determined a month of prayer for the revival, if the church did not complete a month of clamor, the Holy Spirit would not visit the church, during the thirty days of prayer, everyone prayed together and received the Holy Spirit, prophesied in tongues of fire spoke there, I understood the meaning of those languages, I interpreted the message to that people in Spanish, one of the gift of language I received when I asked God to teach me Spanish, I returned home happy, witchcraft Jesus showed me in another vision a boy named Ernsto from a church where I visited, he met a young woman through WhatsApp, and fell in love with that girl, stopped coming to church, gave up being a member of the worship group and did not pray anymore, he was every day moving away from God and kept talking to this girl through the cell phone, in that vision, I saw that girl take the photo of Ernsto by WhatsApp, and did a lashing spell to arrest this young man in love, the demons took advantage of this young man's weak faith and entered into his life, I went to the church of the young Ernsto, I called him in front of the pulpit and I prayed to break that black magic, the demon responsible manifested, I expelled that demon from that young man, he was free, that passion that this young man felt for the sorceress, was the lashing of the demons, when the enchantment broke, he was free, he no longer loved that girl, I say to all single Christians, not to become sentimentally involved with people who did not convert and still serve the world, it was the case of this young man, who related to this girl without knowing and fell into the bond of Satan, this young girl was an agent of demons, anointing I went to Pastor Juan's church, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that the pastor has to anoint a Christian to help him, Pastor Juan said, I have anointed the evangelist Julio to help me, he is intelligent, educated, has theological training and will help me through his knowledge, when Pastor Juan took the oil to anoint the evangelist Julio, the Holy Spirit told me, this is not the one chosen, when I heard that voice, I said, Pastor Juan, this is not the boy, the Pastor Juan said, if it is not Julio, who will he be? I do not see anyone who has the qualities of this evangelist, I replied to Pastor Juan, God does not see how man sees, nor chooses as we want, as I spoke these words, I saw in the vision an angel with olive oil spilling over the head of a young man named Joseph, I told Pastor Juan, it's that young man who will help you in the work, being your right arm, Pastor Juan said, this young man is shy, 
he does not speak, he never ministered in the church, I answered, Shepherd, God chooses the crazy things to confuse the wise, it is this young man that God will use, I saw the angel anointing him, God anointed this vessel from the womb of his mother, today his ministry is confirmed, I called the young Joseph ahead and said, many do not give anything for you, they despise you by your inferior way, that is not capable of anything, thus saith the Lord to thee, today I empower thee, and my spirit resteth upon thee, when I prayed with a laying on of hands, he began to whirl and speak in tongues of fire, and at the same time interpreted his own tongue, on that day he brought such a strong prophecy that he changed the ministry of Pastor Juan to this day, after that demonstration, Pastor Juan anointed him with oil to be his helper, a shy young man who did not like to speak in the church, quiet and silent, was taken by Holy Spirit and used greatly that night, today he is a living instrument of God's power in this church and has been gaining souls by making his pastor happy, spiritual warfare churches when I got home I bent my knee to pray and had a tremendous vision of spiritual warfare on earth and in the air. Satan and his followers barred the angels in the air preventing them from descending with the blessings of the faithful, a war in the air was being waged, I also saw spiritual warfare between churches and demons on earth, the Lord Jesus said, tell the church to put on holiness, not to lower the rear, keep your hands on a sword, watch and pray, may the fallen rise in the faith, and stand firm against the attacks of Satan, be strong and courageous even with the whips that cause injury, resist, and if they have no strength to fight, I will heal the wounds and raise up the wounded warriors who will not give up on my path, tell the church to close the rear, for the devil seeks to enter, the greatest weakness of the devil is that of a straight church, fearing that he walks according to my word, against these Satan is a failure, he cannot defeat, and all those who do not watch, Satan will attack to steal your salvation he does not get tired of losing the war, he is always trying my people, he is insistent and he struggles to triumph over the church, tell the church to depend on me, I am your strength, do not exalt yourself, for being spiritual and obedient, Satan finds the weakness in the midst of strength, Samson was strong, in the midst of his strength, Delilah found his weakness and made him fall, the greater the strength of man, but his weakness will appear, in the midst of a great spiritual coating, pride arises in the hearts which is the weak point of Satan's attack, tell the church not to trust in your strength, but in my strength, the demons study the strengths and weaknesses, and attack in the forces to undermine their resistances, but those who persevere will give authority to break down the evil forces and the evil fortresses will be destroyed by the pure and holy church, many use the knowledge to attack their brother and have lacked the strength to attack the evil fortresses and do not use their knowledge to save souls, many have lost heart, are powerless, and fallen in faith, I will give the courage and strength to persevere to the end to all who seek the strength in me, tell the church that your achievements are not material, but spiritual, my winners are not those who conquer the world but who conquer the heavens, many have focused their dreams on the earthly possessions, many have forgotten eternity, and are not positioned against the traps of Satan, I want renunciation and holiness, my path is thorny hard to tread because of the barriers, only those who love me do not give up, I had a vision of a church with twenty dedicated men, 